coming coming back to Belize was very disappointing for me because I still find ten years later that Belize is still on the same ground and this, there's a something stifling or something that is keeping progress from happening right I wouldn't want to see the industry return to where it used to be but I want to see it better than where it used to be and the only way we will be where we want to be is to start getting our artists international but before they go international we have to train them here so we have to have some type of like I said a music union would be the correct place because you will have people who would be able to come in and train our artists and prepare them and tell them if they are ready or they are not ready for the real world right I saw um, the music ambassador brought in some guys from international that he knows and they said the same thing it's not an easy road getting to where they are at today but the problem is that because we are not prepared it seems like a mountain to climb but remember it always starts with the first step so if we start in the right direction if we keep saying that hey government is not doing this for us or government is not doing that for us we won't go nowhere we have to show government that this is what we want. That's what you're doing, right? You're not waiting for nobody to do nothing for you. Get out there, you set your CDs. If you have to do it on the corner of the road, if, right? I don't care what nobody say. I know Burn is selling CDs. You know what I'm saying? But the other artists are trying to do the same, but they're not. They don't bring the intensity because, like I said, they they want to go work a job a nine to five because they don't see no other way out. But I know there's a way out. But if you just go personally to any place and say, well, I'm a Belizean artist, but you don't have no backing. Because they want to know, okay, if I could help you, but what will you do for these 10 artists that I have here? I can't do anything, why? Because I got to come and beg somebody, hey man, please open the door for these 10 artists so I could get away through. No, if you had a music you then the door will be open. You understand me? Because you don't, you as an artist won't go there and, and be negotiating nothing. You will have professional people in the position to go do that for you. Right? And like I said, it's not only the, the performing part, but the discipline. Because as an ambassador, you have a certain moral obligation that you have to carry through. So it's not, it doesn't have anything to just do with you as an artist. It has to do with you, what the weight that you're carrying on your shoulder. Right? You have the country on your back, so you have to carry the country with pride in everything that you do. And like, as I said, in, if you talk to a Jamaican, yes, you see a Jamaican do what they do, but you don't understand what they do. So you want to be the regular artist, but if you go to see what these guys do or what they've been through to be where they're at, you'll understand it's not talent only, there's a lot behind it. And that's all I have to say.